waiting to hand in my jacket because my zipper is broken, using that time for a quick video. In my talks I often mention speed, transparency and intensity, which I think are the three core elements of future communication. People always ask me, how do you realize that in your company? How do you do that? To me there are three concepts. Team collaboration, concept collaboration, unplanned collaboration. And I quickly want to explain all three of them. And before I do that, I hand in my jacket. Team collaboration is nothing else as communicate via very fast channels using a lot of messengers, WhatsApp, Slack, uh, other chat messengers that enable you to switch between synchronous and asynchronous communication. So you can send a voice message, synchronous communication, or you can send an asynchronous message, something like a text message to your people. Some companies still use email, which is slow because you have to add many different informations like subject lines and so on to that. I always recommend using something very fast to collaborate in a team. Since this is not something you can use to think and discuss complex things, there is concept collaboration. Concept collaboration is made with tools that enable you to collaborate at the same time in a document, for example, or in a text. So something like Confluence, where you have same time collaboration in a doc or Google Docs, same time collaboration in a doc. Why is the offline version not enough? Very simple rule to keep in mind. It pushes together both sides. So asynchronous and synchronous will be closer together. You can write at the same time, but you can also do it later. And this brings up the speed. So that's how you increase the speed. And at the same time, it will make it more transparent what other people did in terms of changes. And the third one is the so-called unplanned collaboration. And unplanned collaboration, um, the brain doesn't work in a linear way. So you don't go from thinking about Hamburg and now we start with A going through the register and um, seeing what's in there. It's more like thinking about Hamburg and then you associate different ideas that you have in mind. So it's very chaotic. So I don't know, I think about Hamburg, then I think about my, my family, my office. Very nice weather we have in Hamburg. The weather that we always have in Hamburg. That is associative thinking versus linear thinking. And this unplanned collaboration is the true source of creativity and of innovative power of a company. You accidentally talk about things and you come up with ideas. And if you look at that from an online perspective, this is what the feed tools have changed. So uh, Twitter early on, then Facebook in 2009, they all came up with, with feeds. These feed tools are still underestimated in many companies. They say, oh, that's like Facebook for the company and that doesn't feel like a serious tool. There are many feed tools out there already. It's like Jammer, Shatter from Salesforce, Google Plus for companies, Dive. And don't mix up feed tool with the chat tool. Chat tool like, like Slack, for example, is something more for the team communication. It won't help you to stay up with ideas out of a company. I even use my Twitter feed and my personal Facebook account for unplanned collaboration because I see what people do. And I really try to maintain these feeds in a good way. Meaning I comment for people, I like stuff that I like, I share stuff that I like because I stumble upon stuff that not necessarily is an answer to, to things I'm searching for or or I don't know, helps me with something directly, but it sparks an idea that I quite often need in order to, let's say, make a video, make a presentation, think about another problem. So that's what I call unplanned collaboration. And that's the, the quick thing I wanted to share this morning.